This is the step-by-step -step build guide for the Stumbot Pro Kit by Studico Robotics, a two-wheel drive pushbot designed for students to explore STEM through mobile robotics and its many applications. Powered by the Titan Quad Motor Controller and VMX Robotics Controller. The first step is to assemble the chassis frame of the robot. Start by attaching an M-piece plate to each end of a 192mm U-channel with four M3 by 10 millimeter button head cap screws on each plate. Tighten these screws with a two millimeter hex key and repeat the process for the other 192 millimeter U channel. Next is to attach the 432 millimeter U channels to the assembled 192 millimeter U channels. We do this by aligning the 192mm U-channels across, as shown, so the frame is flat and square. One channel should be aligned at the ends of the 432mm U-channels, while the other should be in the middle, with three of the 432mm U-channels hole patterns between the two. To attach them, screw four M3 by 10mm socket head cap screws through the hole pattern of the 432 millimeter U-channel that align with the M-piece plate with a two and a half millimeter hex key. Repeat this step three more times for the other M-piece plates. Note for the future reference, the back of the chassis frame is where the 192 millimeter U-channel is all the way at the end of the connected 432 millimeter U-channels. To complete, the frame assembly, attach four U-channel bumpers to each end of the 432 millimeter U-channels. Two Maverick DC motors are used to power the back wheels and are responsible for the robot's movement. The next step is to assemble the motors for mounting to the robot and back wheels. Attach the motor mount plate to the Maverick DC motor using six M3 by 10 millimeter button head cap screws and tighten with a two millimeter hex key. Then slide a 30 tooth bevel gear onto the motor shaft. Insert the set screws into the gear, but do not tighten just yet. These set screws will be tightened later in the build. Then repeat this process for the other motor. As shown, the motors will recess into the 432mm U-channels to form a 90-degree transmission system. The next step is to align the motor mount plates hole pattern, as shown, and secure them through the hole pattern that is third from the back of the chassis frame, with two M3 by 10mm socket head cap screws into each side of the channel. You can tighten these screws with a 2.5mm hex key. Next is to assemble the drive shaft and wheels to complete the drive system. To assemble the drive shaft, place two flange bearings onto the 432mm U-channel. Slide a 6 by 96 mm D-shaft through the bearing of the channel, and slide a 30 tooth bevel gear onto the shaft before sliding it all the way through the next bearing. Then insert the set screws into the 30 tooth bevel gear, but do not tighten them once again. Next, place a 2mm shaft spacer on the inside of the chassis frame, then a 6mm D-shaft collar clamp so that it is flush with the end of the shaft. Then, tighten the collar clamp with the given set screw with a 2.5mm hex key. 
Next, slide two 5mm shaft spacers onto the other end of the shaft, then slide the clamping shaft hub to it and secure it using the given set screws with a 2.5mm hex key. Next, align the bevel gears of the motor and drive shafts so that the teeth of both gears mesh with one another. Once they mesh, then tighten the set screws for each gear to form the 90 degree transmission. We repeat this process for the other drive shaft, then finally we mount our 100mm drive wheels to the clamping shaft hub using four M3 by 12mm socket head cap screws for each wheel. Once that is complete, the robot's drive system has now been completed. These next steps are for assembling the battery mount for our robot. We start by attaching the male side of two male to female standoffs to a battery clip with M3 kept nuts. Then repeat for the other battery clip and set aside. Next, stack two 288 by 40 millimeter flap brackets onto one another and align them across the chassis frame as shown and attach it to the frame using four M3 by 30 millimeter socket head cap screws and four cap nuts on each side. Then Attach the battery clips to the flat brackets using two M3 by 12 mm socket head cap screws for each clip. The battery clips should be placed so that two of the hole patterns are in between them so that the battery will fit. To assemble the front wheels, insert a 6 mm by 96 mm D shaft through the shaft hub that comes with the Omni wheel and tighten the hub set screws. Then, secure the wheel hub to the Omni wheel using the 5mm hex key. Repeat this step for the other Omni wheel, and they are now ready to mount to our chassis frame. To mount the Omni wheels to the frame, mount a bearing on each side of the 432mm U channel hole pattern. Then, place a 2mm shaft spacer between the bearing and the wheel before putting the shaft through the bearings. Then, on the other side, place another 2mm shaft spacer between the flange bearing and collar clamp, then tighten the collar clamps with the set screw with a 2.5mm hex key. And once again, repeat for the other Omni wheel. These next steps, we will be assembling the base plate housing our Titan Quad Motor Controller and VMX Robotics Controller. We start by securing the Titan to the base plate using four M3 by 30 millimeter socket head cap screws and four cap nuts. Then we secure the VMX to the same base plate using four M3 by 12 millimeter socket head cap screws and four cap nuts.
The Titan wire pack contains the cables and wires necessary to connect the VMX and Titan to one another. Please see the Stembot build guide instructions for further instructions to connect our electronics. To secure the electronics base plate to the robot chassis, align the base plate as shown so the whole pattern of the base plate, chassis, and motor mount plate screw holes align. Then, insert two M3 by 12 mm socket head cap screws into each motor mount plate and tighten them using a 2.5 mm hex key. Next, align four 96mm T-slot extrusions with the whole patterns of our chassis frame as shown, and secure them using four M3 by 12mm socket head cap screws for each extrusion. For cable management, place a rubber grommet on one of the holes of a 432mm U-channel and two rubber grommets on both sides of the center 192mm U-channel. Then, carefully feed your motor cables through these grommets and through the base plate slot. Then, repeat these steps for the other motor. Connect the red cable of the left motor to the red M0 port and the black cable to the black M0 port. Then connect your encoder cables shown above. Then repeat this process for the right motor and be sure to connect these cables to the M2 port of the Titan quad motor controller. Attach another base plate on top of the four T-slot extrusions using four M3 by 12 millimeter socket head cap screws for each extrusion and tighten them using a two and a half millimeter hex key. Once that is complete, place the battery in between the battery clips, then connect the power pole cables of the battery to the power pole extension cable to power the robot. Finally, to power the robot, place the battery in between the battery clips, then connect the power pole cables of the battery to the power pole extension cable. The stembot is now ready to be programmed and operated.